What's up everyone and welcome back. Okay, so we did review Mamuk, and I wasn't impressed. I actually think he's a, just a bad hero. I mean, Red, really, really nice. And the only really nice thing on him is probably the fact he gives your team speed up. And his skill 1, causing attack down 2, and um, horrify. And let's be honest, that's not a huge amount to boast about. Um, he kind of screws himself. You need to watch that video if you're interested in knowing about Mamuk. But Geelyman, hopefully, is another story. So let's have a little look into her. She is a support hero. She is. A, she looks dope, right? Like, honestly, this hero looks friggin' wicked. She's definitely like a wizard chick. Well, a futuristic kind of wizard chick with the, you know, she just looks smart. I mean, all wizards are smart. I think. I mean, it has to be yeah, arcane arts, right? Okay, enough rambling. Um, power of knowledge. See? Smart. Uh, deals 220% attack damage to a single enemy with a 60% chance to inflict resistance buff for one turn and grant self one layer of arcane afterwards. Now, this obviously does increase up to 100% and this is super nice, okay? Especially when we're pairing up with Ben Austin as well. Well, no, that's pointless because Ben Austin already does that. Okay. Um, counter attack. Very nice of counter attack. Very, very nice of counter attack, actually. Yeah, I like this. Okay. See what we did there? We counteracted it. We counteracted it with the counter attack. Um, obviously, she gains one layer of arcane, and uh, it can stack up to five layers. Now, her first active skill, Bursting Knowledge, transfers all arcane owned by self to Wisdom Runestone, and additionally generates four Wisdom Runestones, and shoots all of the Wisdom Runestones afterwards. Like, pew. Uh, runestones prioritize the main target when attacking, and switch to attack the enemy target of the lowest health when the main target dies. Each Wisdom Runestone deals 120% attack damage, increasing up to 160 um, it's actually a pretty good amount of damage if we think about it. It's a pretty good amount of damage when we think about it. And also, at exclusive level 1, increases the number of Wisdom Runestones additionally generated by Bursting Knowledge from 4 to 6. And all the Wisdom Runestones have an additional 40% piercing rate, which means she's going to be dealing really nice damage. She's going to be doing really nice damage on this. Uh, for her, you know, for just for her first active skill. We know about Amat Maths, okay? We know about Amat Maths. But at 160%, at 2 is 320, and then at 4 is 640%. Okay, so at 6, it's 960% attack damage. I'm wrong, aren't I? No, I'm not wrong, am I? I'm not wrong, I'm right. Jeez, that's the first time for that. So that's, that's a ton of attack damage. <laughs> And 40% piercing rate, 960%. Is that right? 320, 320, 640, 960. Wow, 960% attack damage. Holy shit. That's insane. That's actually insane. That's a pure single target nuke. 40% piercing rate means ignoring 40% defense. Oh, boy. Demon reflect silence effect to the inflictor, meaning a Sindo, bye bye, uh, removes unless. No, yes, okay, it is Papaya Sin, though, because she can't freeze her either, because if silence isn't landing, uh, because it's getting reflected, she can't freeze. It removes one random buff from enemy whenever the attribute debuff on the enemy is cleansed. Gilliman has a 60% chance to grant self one layer of arcane when the buff is successfully removed from the target, up to five layers. So I, I actually skipped this bit. It removes one, one random buff from an enemy whenever the attribute debuff on this enemy is cleansed. Wait. Wait, let's go over this again. She reflects a science to the afflictor and then removes one random buff from an enemy whenever the attribute debuff on this enemy is cleansed. Okay, so what? If the silence hits the enemy... What? Removes one random buff from an enemy whenever the attribute debuff on this enemy is cleansed. But who's putting an who's putting an attribute debuff on them? Silence, isn't it? It's weird. Okay, so whenever they cleanse an attribute buff, we can an attribute debuff. They'll remove one random one random buff. That's actually very very odd, but nice. Um, we'll have to see it in a moment. Gilliman has a 60% chance to grant self one layer of arcane when the buff is successfully removed from the target up to five layers. Okay, that's fine. Obviously, this goes up to 100%. 
uh, to gain the arcane. Now, exclusive level 2, it refreshes the cooldown of bursting knowledge. If Gilliman has 4 or more layers of arcane at the beginning of our turn, or grants itself 2 layers of arcane if Gilliman has no, no or less than 4 layers of arcane. Um, this is a really nice exclusive too, meaning it's really buffing her arcane up. Uh, the final skill is Intellectual Prison. Now, this gets really juicy. Uh, it deals 200% attack damage to all enemies and removes all buffs from them. All buffs! All buffs gone! With a 50% chance to reduce her speed by 40% for two turns, meaning she's kind of replacing Elena here. She's kind of replacing Elena here. Um, she's blue mark as well, gonna be huge in Mark Tower. Huge, absolute huge. Removing all buffs and reducing their speed by 40%. We've seen what Elena does already in Force Mark. This chick is going to be insane. Insane. Um, it increases up to 70%. Uh, 80%, sorry, and a full turn cooldown. Now, exclusive level 3. Gilliman additionally casts Bursting Knowledge once after casting Intellectual Prison. Okay. Wow. Wow. So she's going to deal, she's going to, she's going to nuke, uh, 200%, I say nuke, 200% attack damage isn't a lot, okay? Uh, removes all buffs from them, speeds them down, and then she's going to go, boom, all your buffs are gone, take 960% attack damage as well. 40% piercing rate if you're exclusive one. Obviously, it has to be exclusive free for this to happen, so you will have exclusive one. I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, Geelyman, just reading that is going to be nutty. It's going to be nutty, especially for Blue Tower. Especially for Blue Tower. Wizard's Eye as well. She's going to be fantastic. Um, yes, she will be. She will be. She will be. Especially, I'm going to love to see her paired up with the likes of Daisy as well. Oh, boy. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love her already. Do you know what? I don't even feel like I need to trial her. She's fantastic. She is the one you want to pull for is Geelyman. Um, and I feel confident in saying that because this is going to be your answer to Blue Mark Tower for sure. Um, obviously, if you have Quinlan as well, you're laughing. But, um, you know, she's going to really, really help you push through Blue Mark Tower. Totally. Totally. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of damage, especially if it's level 3. But think about it if she's before that. She needs the exclusives to really become. She needs at least level 1. At least level 1. At least level 1. Okay, let's, let's have a little look at her. Let's have a little look at her. Um, okay. So, she started with 2 Arcane. That's thanks to... Which one is that thanks to? Um, is it just a passive? Refreshes the cooldown of personal knowledge if Gilliman has four more layers. At the beginning of a turn, okay, so at the beginning of a turn, she's going to get granted these two layers of arcane. <laughs> okay, um, let's just strip, let's do an AoE a moment. Okay, that looks, we need to edit the attributes. Let's put a crit rate up to 100. Um, because we're going to want her at high crit rate, high crit damage. And let's just put her at 250% crit damage a moment. Because I do want to see how much she can deal against the likes of these. Let's put it onto 1. We're going to target, we'll remove this buff. That's gone. 86,000. No, what about these? These are the ones. The trouble is, how much attack does she have? Not a lot, by the looks of it. 28,000. A lot of people will quite easily get her up to 40,000 attack. Um, quite easily. So this is free. And these arcanes are consumed, correct? The arcanes are consumed. Let's build these arcanes up a moment. So it stacks at 5. This is the maximum. This is the maximum kind of damage you can expect now. 113k AoE from 200% attack damage. How many hits even was that? Okay. Let's, 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 let's throw in an, an enemy, a proper enemy, not the ones that don't die. Um, ben Austin and... That friend. Okay. 
Okay, good. The resistance buff cannot affect this, obviously, because it's a purple buff. Uh, let's let's build. Let, no, we're going to strip these a moment. Actually, everything gone. Now we're on to Catherine. Guys, how much health did she have? Four hundred sixty k. She is wonderful. I don't even need to. I don't even need to look at her anymore. I don't even need to look at her anymore. I'm so confident in her. I'm so confident in her. Um, this is your target. This is your, this is your target. She's going to be great for PvE and PvP. Across the board, everywhere in the game, she's going to be fantastic. So on that note, ignore Mamuk. Get rid of him. Forget him. Forget Mamuk. Your selection is Gilliman. 100%. 100%. You can build her up. Like, if you are looking to summon... This is your target. Please do not choose anyone other than Gilliman because you will regret it. You will regret it. I promise you. I promise you that you will regret it if you do not pull for her if you have the Miracle Wishes. And please, while saying that, please spend within reason. Okay, please spend within reason, guys. Don't just get carried away. And I, I should start saying this more often. Please spend within reason because I know how easy it is. To get carried away and spend too much on you know more than we mean to so again spend them in reason on your summons you know you don't have to have these because you know yeah all right don't forget to like subscribe and comment below to help the channel grow and everyone thank you again for tuning in i'll see you next time on the next video take care